During the recent Paris Air Show, one of the major headlines of the event was a major order by Philippine low-cost carrier Cebu Pacific for 31 brand new aircraft from European aircraft manufacturer Airbus. Based on the current list prices, the deal is worth over 6 billion US dollars, and we'll see Cebu Pacific get 16 Airbus A330 wide-body jets, 5 narrow-body Airbus A320 Neos, and 10 Airbus A321 XLR, the newest narrow-body aircraft that Airbus introduced during the Paris Air Show. With the order, Cebu Pacific will be one of the launch customers of the brand new jets, and this video will give an overview of the aircraft and how it fits into Cebu Pacific's plans for the future. Touted as a long-range narrow-body aircraft, the Airbus A321 XLR is Airbus's offering to airlines looking for a narrow-body aircraft with a long range for routes that would normally need larger and longer-range aircraft such as Boeing 767s or Airbus A330s with a smaller seat capacity than those aircraft. According to Airbus, the Airbus A321 XLR will have a range of about 4,700 nautical miles if with a seating capacity of 200 with a fuel burn rate of 30% less than its competing aircraft. Airbus has reported around 200 orders for the XLRs from the likes of American Airlines, Indigo, Qantas, Middle East Airlines, Saudia, JetBlue, to joining along with Cebu Pacific as the launch customers of this new aircraft. In reports in the press, Cebu Pacific has stated that their Airbus A321 XLRs will have a capacity of over 200 and with the additional capacity, it would bring the range down to around 4,000 nautical miles. Compared to the Airbus A320 and A321 aircraft that Cebu Pacific relies on heavily for its domestic and regional routes, the XLRs will still have an additional range of around 700 nautical miles versus the range of the Airbus A320 of around 3,300 nautical miles. Now there isn't much new destinations in the Pacific or Asia that can't already be served by the Airbus A320s. Both Sydney and Melbourne in Australia, which Cebu Pacific uses as Airbus A330s, could soon be reached with the new aircraft. And the situation is very similar for Dubai, which is just right before the maximum range of the aircraft. In addition to the longer range, the fuel efficiency of the aircraft could offer the airline savings on its operation costs of regional flights as well as domestic destinations that require additional capacity with the ever-growing limitations of flight slots at airports from the likes of Manila and other regional hubs. The new purchase of the A321 XLRs is an indication and a further proof of Cebu Pacific's strategy for its future growth, specifically in the use of larger, more fuel-efficient aircraft. The airline is currently in the process of receiving a current order of 39 Airbus A321s and to develop its other hubs in the Philippines outside of Manila. Cebu Pacific's CEO and President Lance Kakongwe has stated, quote, our strategy is to replace our fleet with bigger and more fuel-efficient aircraft to fly more passengers utilizing our existing slots while reducing our existing environmental footprint per passenger. We will be operating an all-Airbus Neo fleet by the end of 2024 and retiring our older generation jets. For the developments of its hubs in the Visayas and Mindanao regions of the Philippines, Gokongwe added, If we get the A321 XLRs in 2023-2024, that gives us the possibilities to fly more thinner and longer routes, particularly to the tourist spots in Visman connecting to North Asia, Australia, and Brunei. Based on Gokongwe's statements, some of the possible city pairs include Cebu to Sydney, Davao to Tokyo, or Kalibo to Busan. While there is good prospects for the Airbus A321 XLR to aid Cebu Pacific in its attempts to open up new air routes from the provincial hubs, Something to keep in mind will have to be the passenger comfort on the longer flights, especially if Cebu Pacific decides to use the aircraft on the routes to Dubai or Sydney. What are your thoughts on Cebu Pacific's Airbus A321 XLR order? And what routes would you like to see the aircraft deployed on? This is another video of Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and trends of aviation and travel in the Asia Pacific. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you again for watching and have a great day.